we will now study derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. Here are some formulas for the inverse functions. Derivative of sine inverse x is 1 upon root of 1 minus x square. Derivative of cos inverse x is minus 1 upon root of 1 minus x square. Derivative of tan inverse x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square and so on. The first three are the most important formulas for the inverse functions. Let us take our first example. y is equal to sine inverse of 2x. We have to find its derivative. Differentiating both the sides, I'll get dy by dx. You can see the derivative of sine inverse x is 1 upon root of 1 minus x square. So derivative of sine inverse 2x will be 1 upon root of 1 minus 2x square. And because x is replaced by 2x, by chain rule, we will have the extra term that is derivative of 2x. And what is derivative of 2x? It's 2. Hence, the answer is 2 upon root of 1 minus 4x square. Now, let's look at the second example. We have to find the derivative of tan inverse of log x. Now, what is derivative of tan inverse x? It is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So, derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus log x the whole square. As x is replaced by log x, we'll have an extra term that is derivative of log x. And what is derivative of log x? It's 1 by x. Hence, the answer is 1 upon x into 1 plus log x the whole square. These are some questions you can try on your own. Now moving further, if you have a question of this type, y is equal to 2 cos x minus 3 sin x upon root 13, where inside the inverse function, there is a linear combination of numbers and trigonometric functions. So what we have to do in these type of questions is first of all, split the denominator into two parts. That is sine inverse of 2 by root 13 into cos x minus 3 by root 13 into sine x. Now the constant terms that is 2 by root 13 and 3 by root 13. We'll try and square them and add them. What we'll get is 1. Now the square of two terms is equal to 1. This is only possible when one of the value is of sine theta and the other is cos theta. As we know sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Hence we can substitute one of these values as sin a and the other as cos a. Now substituting them in our equation, I'll get y is equal to sine inverse of 2 by root 13 is to be taken as sine a. Hence it becomes sine a cos x and 3 by root 13 is cos a. The second term becomes cos a sine x. Now you can see this formula is of sine a minus b, sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. So if you can apply the formula inside the bracket, what I'll get is sine inverse of sine of a minus x. Sine inverse and sine gets cancelled and what is left is a minus x. Now you can differentiate both the sides. Derivative of y that is dy by dx. Derivative of a will be 0 as it's a constant term. And derivative of x is 1. Hence the answer is minus 1. So this is how we solve these type of problems. Now also pay attention, why did I substitute 2 by root 13 as sin a and 3 by root 13 as cos a and why not the other way? Once you get the answer for this question, you'll be able to solve these questions on your own.